It is 613. Welcome back to News Channel 3 today. What is better than a Friday? Fired up Friday. And Joseph Payton live in Wheelersburg. He has the Pirates there getting an early start on a home opener tonight. Oh, let me tell you, Lisa and Rob, we are hoisting the colors here at Ed Miller Stadium. It's something like the Black Pearl for all of you Pirates of the Caribbean fans. These are the guys that the Rockets have to mess with tonight. The Buckos, the Pirates, the Orange and Black, these boys run this kingdom that is Ed Miller Stadium each and every Friday night, and this is the home opener. On the road last week, these guys are happy to be home. I want you to take a look at the rest of the Pirate Nation that has turned out. We talked about the moms of the Pirates earlier. They work so hard to get the shakers going. I don't know what they put inside those things, but they're definitely, they are loud. We have students of all kinds here. We have other fall sports teams that we're gonna let Coach Rob Woodward talk about all of that in just a second. But my goodness, what a scene over here. I tell you what, Coach, this is uh, something pretty special out here. Absolutely. What do you think about all this? To see our community come out at this time in the morning, I knew that I knew the Pride Nation would show out, and they're definitely. What do you think about a 6 a.m. pep rally? The guys, they're kind of, they're getting fired up, but they're not wearing themselves out. But I wanted to ask you about We Are the Berg. I know that's the theme of this year. How did you guys get on that, and what does that mean to be the Berg? Well, it always comes to us every year, kind of embodies what we what we want to represent year to year. And We Are just talks about how we're so much more than just student athletes uh, that Academically, we're working in the classroom, but athletic on the field. We got so many programs. We got band, we got cheerleading, we got volleyball, we got tennis, we got golf, all these ball sports, boys and girls, soccer, you know, all of them that are out competing, working hard, along with our football team to have the best year that we can. It takes a whole entire community to represent, demand the excellence that we do. And, you know, we are, we're, we're, we are so many things, and we want to try to be, be the best that we can be. So we are what we put our mind to and what we set our mind out to be. and and we break it out each and every night. This is also a community that's tight-knit. Who do we have here today as far as, as, far as fall sports teams? Well, we, we've got our band that, that you hear playing behind us. You got, we got our cheerleaders out here. We got uh, our volleyball team that's representing. Uh, we got our golf team. We got boys and girls soccer team. Uh, we got a cross-country team. Uh, I hope that I've hit every single one of them out there. But uh, we got a lot of student uh, students that are just here that come out each week and are filling this cheer block and this rowdy crowd and they're shaking these jugs and so many community members too that hey they get an opportunity to get together here at Ed Mills Stadium they're going to make sure that they turn out. It's a special place that also has a very special band. Guys tell me what it's like playing here at this stadium every single Friday night. Uh, well I just it's very like exciting and definitely nerve-wracking like you see all these people up here in the stands and you're just like oh crap. <laughs> You get nervous out there at all? Uh, a little bit, yeah, but I don't know. I've done it for quite a while, so it's not as nerve-wracking. It's really mostly a lot of fun. and A lot of fun. That's that's what you hear from a seasoned veteran who's been out there on this field. I tell you what, guys, thank you so much. We have more segments to come and more action from Ed Miller Stadium. This place is going to be rocking. We'll send it back to you. Doesn't it just look like it is a 6 p.m. game? It, it, and it also amazes me because of that. How many very young students who fight mom and dad every day about getting out of bed for school are there as soon as we say, can you be there at 5 a.m.? May, yes, may as well we be can. 5 p.m. Who knows? <laughs> we'll it. check back with Joseph in just a few minutes.